Darksville Town was a calm and warm place. But sometimes towns change, and this was the case. One night occurred the strangest thing so far. On Darksville landed a fallen star. The townspeople saw this, and their surprise was big. Inside the fallen star was a demon baby named Sid. He was special, not like the average kid, with a creepy look and always chaos amid. Each year that passed, he showed without rest that his demon nature was on manifest. Mischievous, chaotic, always causing pain, the problems of others for him were a game. He grew with time, and something I can say is that when evil starts, only evil will stay. Here is when Sid's adventure starts to extend. But just keep in mind, he doesn't have a happy end. Another wonderful night to be isn't it, Mr. Buttons? Oh, I agree. Now let's see what's on the agenda of evil tonight. Let's see... Uh, here it is, Wednesday the 7th. Sneak up on the Heymanson's daughter and cut her braid. Check. Already did that last week. Doubt it's grown back. Create an army of giant mutant chickens to terrorize the farm. Eh, that one didn't quite work out last time. The villagers managed to kill all the chickens and use the excess meat to feed the kids at the orphanage. Hungry little bastards. So let's just skip that until I perfect a non-edible cyborg chicken or something. Make Miss Barbara's pies go sour. Mmm, better not. I'm starting to think that old bat's developed a taste for sour pies. I swear she's playing me. Feed laxative-laced bird seed to the local pigeons so they wreak havoc on town. Alright, yeah, that one sounds pretty great. Surrender, Sid! Your nights of evilness are over! What's that? Sounds like... Dan Teapot yelling at my door again. This time it is over! For realsies! There's no escape from this one! None of your tricks will save you! No more Sid the Demon terrorizing the town! Yep, that's Dan. I'd better get rid of him quickly. Who knows what annoyances that nagging insect is cooking up? They're the socks I was looking for last night. I don't want them now. And I don't know why I wanted them then. They smell. Nothing here seems useful. It's the door to my bathroom. I locked it because I have problems sleeping if it's not nice and secured. I, uh, I'm afraid of the toilet monster. What, you never heard of it? That's probably because it's a product of my imagination. I know. I have problems. The door is locked. Luckily for me, I'm not in a hurry to use the bathroom. Is anyone in there? Hmm, seems that it's empty. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is... No, wait a second, it's not on the wall. This isn't going to work. It's my bed lamp. It's too heavy to carry around, and it's okay where it is. I can't talk to that. 
that's my super comfy bed. Well, it isn't that comfy, but at least it's a bed. I don't want a hernia. I can't talk to that. He's my best friend, Mr. Buttons. He's very silent today. Sometimes he gets grumpy. Hey, Mr. Buttons, wanna chat? What? You're not in the mood? He's not in the mood. What? You wanna stay in the bedroom? He wants to stay in the bedroom. It's broken. I removed the cuckoo to make a homing missile a long time ago. Now it's just full of cogs and gears. The lid is screwed to the clock. I can't open it with my bare hands. It's the ultimate guide to giving toasts. It's a really long book, but it gives good advice. My toasts are so much better now. I've already read this book, twice. I think I need to let it stew a little before I go in for round three. It's my nightstand, with a drawer full of evil plans. And my diary, also full of evil plans. I don't want anything from there. I can't talk to that. It's my hook-shaped cane. I generally use it to ruin the school musicals by yanking kids off the stage with it. A gentleman has no class. I can't talk to that. It perfectly captures Mr. Button's personality. Oh, but it ties the room together so well. I can't talk to that. It's the door that leads to my kitchen. The door is closed. I locked a giant rat inside. In these drawers, I used to store all sorts of useful gadgets and inventions. I used to store all sorts of useful gadgets and inventions in here. Nonetheless, the only thing I found inside that is not broken or useless is this multi-bit screwdriver. With no bits at all. It's my lovely fish, Domingo. He knows how to do some cool tricks, like act like a fish or splash, but usually it's super ineffective. I don't even know how to get this tank open anymore. Hi, Domingo. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy, Domingo? You are. Yeah, you're a good boy. Dan Teapot is holding the door from the other side. I should talk to him. Don't try anything funny, demon. Today your evil existence ends. You are not going out. I will trap you inside your castle. Did you notice that you're blocking the entrance to my castle? I know. It's a part of my brilliant plan to end your demonic deed. Isn't it a little past your bedtime, Danny boy? First of all, it's never too late for me. I'm the relentless protector of Darkestville. It's 11 p.m. 11 p.m. already? On a Wednesday? Oh, gosh. Well, maybe it's a little late, but I'm on a mission, so I will stay. No matter what. How many times have we been through this? 146 times. 147 if we count the time you dressed as a girl in order to seduce a giant monkey to turn it against me. Lady Danita and I are not the same person. She is a long lost, charming, absolutely female cousin. You don't have any uncles or aunts. Exactly. That's why she was lost in the first place. Why don't you go away? I have diabolical schemes to follow. Ha! <laughs> Forget it. Your nights of evil deeds are over. You're not leaving this place. Nuh uh. Leave this place before I hurt you in vague but unpleasant ways. You can't hurt me. You're locked inside your castle. You do realize that you're standing on a big trap door with an X on it. <laughs> do you take me for a fool? I already sabotaged the trap door mechanism and locked the basement door. And you can't repair it. Give me the basement key. No. Oh, come on, open that door. 
Nah, -uh. no way. Tonight your villainous legacy ends. Which key did you use to lock the basement door? This one. Thanks. Hey, that was my key. Ah, I don't care. You can't fix the mess I made down there anyway. This trap door is still useless. Let's see about that. Do you have the missing part of the trapdoor mechanism? I will not fall for that again. Today is your end. You are not leaving this place. What is your plan? Starve me to death? Because I have plenty of food here. I'm not telling you. Ah, forget it. You will never leave this castle again. It's a mountain. So scenic. I like it where it is right now. And no, there is nothing behind the painting. I can't talk to... That lever releases the wolves. Ah, so many lovely memories tied to this thing. Release the wolves! Mia! <laughs> Um, shouldn't there be a bunch of screaming, howling, and general chaos right about now? Wait, probably has something to do with the fact that I forgot to feed the wolves throughout the entirety of winter. Whoopsie. The basement door is locked. It's a loud bicycle horn. I love this thing. I almost gave Mrs. Johnson a heart attack with it. This will drop an anvil onto the unsuspecting prisoner. Isn't that fun? I can't talk to that. Dan Teapot has vandalized the door mechanism. The chain and some cogs are missing. Dan Teapot has vandalized... Hey, I found Waldo. And he is dead. The skeleton is stuck in jail. Hi, Waldo. How are you today? Talkative as always. It's the key for my bathroom. How did this end up here? I'm happy to... It's my research about cybernetic ducks. Turns out, cybernetic ducks are a horrible idea. That's why I'm building a cybernetic chicken. I've already read those papers. I wrote them. A not-quite-finished cyborg chicken. It still needs a soul in the soul slot to work, if my theory is correct. I can't talk to that. It's too heavy to carry around. Can't use the bathroom key there. I can't use the bathroom key there. I can't use the bath. I can't use the bathroom key there. It's the key for my bathroom. I can't use the bathroom key. I can't use this screwdriver as it is right now. I can't use this...
It's a treasure chest, and it contains the treasure of storing dirty clothes in an organized way. I don't want anything from there. It's full of dirty clothes. How the hell did that end up here? Is that even physically possible? I don't want to break the short. It's me. It's okay where it is right now. It's locked and glued with some kind of sticky stuff. It's glued shut and I can't pry it open. Maybe if I... Now I can wash my hands properly. The true frozen throne. I read them when I don't have anything else to do. I already read those. The towel is oily. It's stuck with something at the bottom of the bathtub. It's full of oil. See, I was expecting this shipment of penguins that I planned on oiling up and releasing back into the wild, but they never showed up. I'd prefer to keep my hands clean. It's locked and glued with some kind of sticky stuff. It's full of oil, but they never showed up. It's a regular bathroom tab. I'd prefer to keep... It's full of oil, but they... It's a lonely, lonely sock. Where is your pair, my friend? It's just one. I don't want just one sock. They're the socks I was looking for last night. I don't want them now. And I don't know why I wanted them then. They smell. Nothing here seems useful. It's super rusty and dry. I don't think in this state I could use it for anything besides spreading tetanus. Hey. It's super rusty and dry. I don't think in this state I could use it for anything besides spreading tetanus. Hey, that actually sounds pretty great. To the inventory you go. Now it's properly lubed. Heh, <laughs> lube. Non-abrasive soap for my delicate skin. That doesn't need to be slippery. That doesn't need to be slippery. That doesn't need to be slippery. A fake wanted poster made by Dan Teapot. I keep it as a memento. It reads, Dead or Alive, Sid the Demon, One Million Berry. I like it where it is. I would love to terrorize the town as the demon bike rider again, but this bicycle is beyond repair. Presto. I already fixed the chain, but some cogs are missing.
The mechanism is simple. Someone steps over the trap door, I activate the trap door lever, and the dope falls through a system of pipes to end up in this jail. I'd rather not wipe this off. I must have left this here after working on the inner circuits of the cybernetic chicken. I should be more careful where I leave my tools. Now I have a fully functional screwdriver. Come to me, my instrument of eternal terror. Don't worry, it was already broken. A bunch of big cogs. I hope I didn't just void the warranty on this thing. I would love to terrorize the town as the demon bike rider again, but this bicycle is beyond repair. It's full of holes and stinks. I wonder why I haven't burnt the thing already. No one knows when you're going to need to coat with this crazy weather. Even if that coat is old, and full of holes, and stinks. Perfect. can't reach him. It activates the trap door that is outside my castle. It's very useful when Girl Scouts are selling cookies. What? Don't give me that look. I just want some cookies and they always run away when I answer the door. Hey Dan, let me out. Ha! You'll never be able to- ah! Hi Dan. Would you care to explain this whole trapping me in my castle business now? Ha ha! You think you've defeated me, but I've won. Fascinating. I find your claims tenuous at best coming from inside of a jail cell. I have delayed you enough here. They are already in town. There's no escape now. Who are they, and why would I want to escape from them? Have you been sneaking mushrooms out of my gardens again? I told you those are for my alchemical experiments. You don't get it, do you? No idea what you're talking about. I've hired the Romero brothers. The most infamous demon hunters alive are coming for you. They've long been here by now. There is truly no escape for you. They'll track and hunt you down. They are the best of the best. I've kept you from getting a head start on Flea. Like I said, I win. You're done. Oh, come on, you moron. Don't you realize that it's the villain who's supposed to give their whole plan away with overly detailed monologues? You've gone and messed up our whole dynamic. You don't get it? The Romero brothers are the best and they will never- <coughs> Silence truly is golden. Now then, let's analyze this little situation I found myself in. A team of demon hunters are, well, hunting me. It's kind of flattering that the so-called best of the best are after me, oh my. Well, if these Romero brothers want a war, then I'm going on the offensive. I'll need to go downtown to check them out. And give them a warm welcome to Darkest Hill. Mwah! <laughs> but, uh, I should probably quit wasting time with maniacal laughter and going. I've got a lot of work to do after all. So I'll make a neutron bomb and hide it inside a cheesecake. No, 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 no. That's really impractical. I don't have enough cheese. Good evening, little fellow. Is that Darkestville Castle? What? 
What kind of question is that? You're in Darkestville, and that's the only castle. Now, please mind your own business. I'm really busy right now. Okay, team. You hear the man. The demon should be trapped inside. Let's do our job. To the hunt! What was I saying? Ah, yes. So let's discard the neutron bomb cheesecake. What about a neutron bomb inside an apple pie? What am I thinking? With that giant rat inside the kitchen, I can't bake anything. Okay. All the plans involving cooking are null. Man, that's like half my repertoire. The job is done, sir. That demon is now inside our prison chest. It won't be bothering you again. We received your payment in the last letter, so I think that's all. Goodbye, and thank you for hiring the Romero brothers. Wait, what? The Romero brothers? They didn't recognize me! <laughs> oh, once again, my wit and... Wait a minute. My castle? What were they doing there? Domingo! They took him away! My lovely fish, Domingo! No one messes with you! Now this is personal! Here used to be my lovely fish, Domingo. I don't want to cut my hand with the broken shards. Release the wolves! Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Um, shouldn't there be a bunch of screaming, howling, and general chaos right about now? Wait. Probably has something to do with the fact that I forgot to feed the wolves throughout the. No, not tonight. I don't redecorate on Fridays. I would love to. I can't talk to that. I'd rather not open it. The giant rat could escape and bite me. can't use the cane with that. No thanks. I don't think it's a good idea to use this horn with that. I don't think it's a good idea. I don't want anything from there. It's full of dirty clothes. I've already read this book. Twice. I think I need to let it stew a little before I go in for round three. Some of my favorite books. How to be an evil mastermind in only 12 easy steps. Doom and Destruction. And the Three Little Piggies. I already read those. I don't want anything from there. Don't worry, it was already broken. As usual, he has nothing in his pockets. Not even his lunch money. Hello? Dan? He is out. He's already stunned. Oh, okay, just one more time. The 
The skeleton is stuck in jail. There I archive all my taxes and expenses. I'm evil, but I'm organized. There are only expenses and taxes inside those drawers. I don't want to mess with them. I have an extremely complicated date-based organizational system, you see. It's too heavy to carry around. That doesn't need this smelly coat. That doesn't need this smelly coat. That doesn't need this... No thanks. I'd rather not. I don't think it's a good idea to use this horn with that. Now that I think about it, the stone texture looks perfect, but maybe the big X on it kind of ruins the camouflage. I can't open the trap door from outside. This is the trash of my castle. I realize now that I produce too much waste for a single demon. I don't remember throwing this at the dumpster. An iron rod. And an almost eaten biology book. Mr. Buttons will have to give me a good explanation about this. but no. What? He's my best friend. Hey, Mr. Buttons, wanna chat? What? Creative, but no. Creative, but no. I'd rather not. It's a loud bicycle horn. I love this thing. I almost gave Mrs. Johnson a heart attack with it. It's full of holes and stinks. I wonder why I haven't burnt the thing already. Non-abrasive soap for my delicate skin. Creative, but no. Creative, but no. I can't talk to that. <laughs> Maintaining a mushroom garden in good shape is harder than you would expect, but gardening is one of my favorite activities. Besides ruining other people's lives, of course. Oh, don't be silly. It's not harvesting season yet. Those mushrooms are still green. Moss on this vent smells terrible. I should clean it someday. That doesn't need to be slippery. I'd rather not. Creative, but no. That doesn't need this smelly coat. That's Ruffo, the guard dog. He seems to be sleeping, but as soon as any stranger walks past his house, he attacks. 
Sadly, I fall in the stranger category. I know that having a hook instead of a hand would look great on me, but I will pass this time. Who's a good boy, Ruffo? Who's a good boy? The barrel is filled with a mess of rope. I can't talk. It's too messy and heavy to carry around. What do you expect? It's full of trash. That darn dog is guarding his neighborhood. If I walk past his house, he will bite me. Or shoot me. That doesn't need to be slippery. The only thing this is useful for is reading. I can't use the cane with that. I can't use... I'm almost positive that this door was a part of my machine for creating uncertainty. I discarded it because I was never really sure if the machine actually worked. I can't reach the handle. It's too tall. Presto! It fits perfectly! Ha! In your face, dog! Are you barking? Sorry, I can't hear you. Ah, victory is so sweet. Now that I think about it, why did I want to come here in the first place? It's a red mailbox. Do you know that it's a crime to read other people's mail? I... Do you know that it's a crime to read other people's mail? I was joking. The mailbox is empty. It seems like someone in this neighborhood was eating my giant mutant chickens. I'll take the giant mutant chicken leg. It'll be handy if I need to scratch my back. It reads, Hot Dog Wagon of the Flavor, because life is too short to care about food poisoning. I will not be promoting the hot dog wagon around town. That explains why these horses are so sweet. They have a lot of sugar cubes to eat. What? You don't want me to take it? I'll just take a few. Okay, just two, okay? The hot dog wagon arrived in town a few weeks ago. Their hot dogs are pretty good if you don't mind hair in your food. I can't steal anything from here. Pedro will see me. I can't talk to that. It's Pedro, the owner of the hot dog wagon. A man who travels the world. A man without a home. A man without fear. A man without any semblance of personal hygiene. Hi. Hello, Sid. How's the evil doing going? Ah, uh, tonight is kind of a tough night. Dan Teapot called some demon hunters. Demon hunters? I don't like them. They never buy anything. Good luck fighting them. Pedro, how is business going? Unbelievable. Is that bad or good? Bad. I ran out of my special marinara sauce. I have to replace it with the new clam ink sauce, but no one likes it. It looks like regular ink. Because that's what it is. What about your other sauces? They're just props to give the impression of variety. Neat trick, isn't it? I know, I know, I'm a genius. You don't have to say it. I am a marketing devil.
Can you give me some of that ink sauce? I need it for my hot dogs, you'll see. A hot dog without any sauce isn't the same, but let's do something. I will give you all of it if you help me do some marinara sauce. What do you need to make marinara sauce? I need something with a special touch of sophistication. Like what exactly? I don't know. Something that stinks the right way. One hot dog, please. Sure. Wait a minute. You don't have any money, don't you? Well, not at the moment. Sorry, Sid, I have a business to run. I can't give you a free hot dog. Do you accept evil card? Sorry, pal. Only money. Don't you have one of your special promotions? Yes. When you buy your hot dog, you get up to two free diseases. That sounds terrible. Can I at least choose them? No. They're random. But that's part of the fun. Goodbye. See you later. And remember, we are open all night. Man's trash is I realize now that I spend more time than I would like just staring at garbage. Mm, nothing there looks useful. It is the very definition of garbage. It's a blind guy outside a bar with a half-made Cuban mojito. It sounds like the beginning of a bad joke. Hi! Who goes there? Let me introduce myself. I'm Sid, a fine citizen of Darkestville. Nice to meet you, sir. I'm Martin Hawkeye from West Spring. So, you're a local, right? Yes. Well, then let me congratulate you. Darkestville is a lovely place. Really? Yeah. The air's so fresh and the climate is perfect. I guess you're right. That reminds me, I have to keep working on that weather machine. What is your business in Darkestville? I came here to explore the natural wonders of this lovely town. I'm on vacation. A tourist in Darkestville. Well, that's something new. We don't have many attractions, you know. I don't care about that. As long as the people are friendly and the drinks are cheap, I'm good to go. The good thing about being a blind tourist is that you don't even have to worry about the view when choosing a room. I never thought about the benefits of being blind. Hmm. Mental note. Return the sight of little Timothy. I notice you haven't touched your drink. Yeah, this mojito is kind of lame. The mint they used is really old. It's almost tasteless. If you're not going to drink it, may I have it? Nah, I'm gonna drink it, eventually. Besides, even if the drink isn't good, at least I look cool with a drink in my hand, right? No, but then again, you are too blind to notice it. <laughs> you got me there. May I have your drink? No. What are you doing on the street at this time of the night? I went outside the tavern for some fresh air. Why do you ask? Are the streets of Darkestville dangerous? Mm, no, not really. Sadly, the giant mutant chickens are gone. But probably next week, the streets will be dangerous again. There's a shipment of winged tigers on the way. Thanks for the advice. Where are you staying? At the tavern guest room. But the tavern doesn't have any guest rooms. In fact, there are no hotels in Darkestville. Maybe it's something new. It was a really small room, but at least it was clean. Were you passing by the tavern kitchen? Yes, that is the cleaning cupboard. That would explain the bleachy smell. I can't complain. The price was really low, and it included breakfast. I have other matters to attend to. See you soon! This plant looks like it's made out of rubber. I cannot cut it with my bare hands. It's like it were made out of rubber. But, to be honest, even if I could, 
don't want to carry this plant around. It smells funny. I heard that Bernard and Gerard were enemies since childhood. Kind of like me and Dan Teapot. Of course, I'm much more handsome, and Dan is much more stupid. I would like to... Shh! I'm thinking! We're busy, Sid. Go play somewhere else. Hello. So you are one of the Romero brothers. Yes, I'm Walrus, the muscle of the Romero brothers. And your name is... Dan Teapot, right? Oh, it was a pleasure to work for you, sir. You don't find many customers that pay full in advance by mail these days. How did you recognize me? Because I'm totally Dan Teapot. It was easy to figure it out. In your letter, you wrote that you'd be waiting for us outside the castle to help secure the target. Between you and me, I think that putting the demon inside a fish tank was kind of too much. It made everything too easy for us. Where is that demon you recently captured? We put all the demons we catch inside our demon chest. There they are imprisoned forever in some kind of an alternate dimension or something. I don't get much of that technical stuff. But don't worry, he cannot escape. What if he has some kind of super genius and handsome friend outside trying to help him out? Oh, don't worry. Our sister Foxy already thought about that. The chest requires three keys to open, and each of us only has one key. So it's impossible to open the demon chest without our authorization. Unless... Unless... Unless, of course, someone stole each of our keys. But, then again, we are the best demon hunters. No one would ever dare to try that. Except... Except... Except some kind of idiotic moron with absolutely zero conscience about the consequences of his actions. But, then again, we shouldn't worry about that. If there is such an idiot, we will crush him. Yeah, we, uh, don't have to worry about that. I would love to see that mysterious key you have. Sorry, but I will only take it out if the rest of the group has to open the chest. So, it must be great to be a demon hunter. Oh, yes. You meet a lot of people, do exercise, fight evil, travel the world, and taste new drinks. It's great! Ha <laughs> ha! Where's the rest of the team? I'm not sure. I think Foxy is talking with the mayor. Mongoose must be training somewhere. That lad never rests. Goodbye. I have other matters to attend to. It was a pleasure to talk with you, sir. It's the tavern dartboard. No one has played with it for years. The darts are heavily attached to the board, and I cannot remove them. That explains why no one has played with this thing for years. I can't use the giant chicken leg with that. There's nothing to uns- That doesn't need to be slippery. Gerard is the mortal enemy of Bernard. They have been battling each other in chess matches of epic proportions since I was little. Hello? My na- Shut up! We're playing! Don't you even try that! Ah, one of the oldest tricks. Offering tavern clients free salty peanuts to make them drink more. Classic? Simple and evil. Oh, and the implications for people with high blood pressure. I love this marketing concept. I think the tavern keeper will not mind if I take some of them.
It reads, choose from our varied menu, all at the same price. Caramelized duck with bacon, bacon with caramelized duck, duck with caramelized bacon, duck with bacon all caramelized with a pinch of pepper, and if you're against the natural order of the world, don't forget to taste our vegetarian option. I'm sure the tavern keeper is going to punch me if I try to do that. I can't talk to... Giovanni, the tavern keeper. We don't mess with this guy. Not only because he's the sole owner of the tavern, which makes him an invaluable provider of different substances, but also because if he gets mad at me, he can break all of my bones. Believe me, it already happened. Twice. Hello. Hi. So, how's the business going? It certainly is not going good, thanks to Dennis and demons like you. Yeah, I'll pay you, but thanks. I appreciate you mistrusting me. How much do I owe you? It's two silver coins for the pint of beer, 200 gold coins for the six barrels of ethanol. And don't worry about the matches. They were on the house. Do you accept evil card? You know how this works, Sid. Cash only. I don't have the money with me right now. You don't have any more credit here until you pay me. And it would be better for your health if you did it soon. I would like to place an order. Look, if you want to order something, you'd better pay your debt first. And I recommend you do it pronto. Do you know anything about that stranger over there? You know my policy. I don't like gossip. I don't make questions. As long as you're my customer, I don't care what you do or who you are. I'd better go and get some fresh air outside. See you soon. I know the expression, one man's trash is another man's treasure, but this time, it is definitely just trash. That doesn't need peanuts. Your name will always be remembered. Tall guy who used to talk a lot at the tavern. Ha! Tombstones are hard to carry around. I'd rather not do that. I'm not in the mood to talk with a dead. I only want to talk about eating brains. Uncle Tim, you are a great person. Thank you for teaching us that being attached to small, silly material things and hand grenades don't mix well. I'm not in the mood to talk with a dead. Tombstones are hard. Remember me as the non-bald great man I was. Gonzo Smith. Doctor, lawyer, adventurer, good husband, dragon slayer, and king of the East Kingdom. The Compulsive Liar support group will not be the same without you. I'm not... Tombstones are hard. I have more important matters to attend to. I don't have time to just stare at mud. But somehow I find it relaxing. I don't think it's a good idea to put mud in my pockets. 
I've tried to pass, and the sensation is horrible. I don't want... Charles, you taught us that you should follow your dreams no matter what. Too bad your dream was to stop cargo trains at full speed with your chin. We will miss you. I'm not in the mood. It's a pile of bones with two lovely skulls on top of them. Maybe I can take a bone, but forget about the skulls. They could bite me. It looks like he's training. Hello. Who goes there? Oh, it is you. Dan Teapot, right? Yeah, yeah, you are totally right. I'm him. I mean, it's me, Dan. And you are? I'm Mongoose Romero, the lightning of the Romero brothers. How did you recognize me? Because I'm totally Dan Teapot. Well, you told us you'd be wearing a distinctive hat. Ah, uh, yes, of course, my hat. In my opinion, it would have been easier to recognize you if we knew that you're constantly wearing a weird smiley mask. By the way, why are you wearing that mask? Oh yeah, a mask. That's because I'm a really shy guy. I can't talk with strangers if I'm not wearing my mask. I have mental issues. Mental problems, of course. That explains the payment in advance. What are you doing in the middle of the night at the cemetery? Me? Training, of course. We must always be ready for battle. You never know when you're going to find a ghost, a demon, or worse. It could be the Big Pie Raptor. The Big Pie Raptor? Where? Oh, so you've never heard of him. The Big Pie Raptor is a maniacal purple velociraptor that throws apple pies at unsuspecting people. It doesn't sound that threatening. <laughs> You say that now, my lad, but if one night you're all alone in a dark alley, and you perceive a shadowy reptilian figure running, and the foul stench of apple pie infects the air, you'd better not come crying to me. But I understand you. I was once like you, a reckless young man. I also didn't believe in the big pie raptor, until that sad night. I remember it as if it were yesterday. I was going to a dance party with my brand new white suit. When I saw him, it was already too late. I already had three apple pies all over me. I tried all kinds of stain removers, but nothing worked. But one day, one day I will have my revenge. Sweet, sweet revenge. Whatever you say, bub. Just calm down. About that demon I hired you to hunt for. Where is it? Oh, that. It's in our demon chest. But don't worry, it will not be bothering you again. It's locked with three locks, and each of us is guarding a different key. There's no way it can be opened without our unanimous consent. Do you have any idea where the rest of your team is? I guess that Walrus is in the tavern, drinking. And Foxy, she had an appointment with the mayor of Darkestville. I guess she had to do some paperwork. Your friends told me you could lend me the chest key you have. There must be a misunderstanding. We are not allowed to give our keys to anyone. I'm pretty sure they... Misunderstanding. Okay. Hey, look! It's the big pie, Raptor! Where? Where? It's hiding inside the crypt! I just saw it! At last! You are cornered, you filthy apple pie carrying animal! Wait. Wait a minute. I've already been through this a couple of times. Walrus probably told you to tell me so that he can laugh at my disappointed face. I will not fall for that again. But I just saw it! Oh yeah? Do you have a photo, footprints, a piece of pie, or something else to prove it? No, not really. Then tell Walrus I'll not fall for that this time.
The big pie raptor is inside the crypt. Oh yeah? You have any proof? My word? Sorry, I can smell a prank a mile away. I will keep practicing my moves. I have other matters to attend to. Goodbye, and stay vigilant. It's not the wiser of the ideas to start a fight with someone with a spear. Ah! Uh, unless you have a gun. Ah! I can't use the bone there. In this bench, I deployed a trap. The problem is, I don't recall what kind of trap it was. I'm not touching that. I put a trap on that bench. It's a statue of the founder of the town. I made an artistic intervention on it. He looks much cooler now. It's solid rock. I can't move it. I can't talk to that. It looks like some kind of insomniac pigeon. What are you doing awake at this time of night, little fellow? I see. You have a night owl complex. I can't reach... It's our local hobo, Jeffrey Badsock. He's pretty useful. I've tried all kinds of potions on him, ever since I was a little demon. Hello, I'm Sid, the demon of Darkestville. Jeffrey Badsock is not drunk enough to know who you are, Sid. I've known you since you were five. Remember that time when you were chasing the town kids with your little flamethrower, and you ended up crying because it ran out of fuel? Yeah, but someone gave me his alcohol so I could have fun with my flamethrower again. Oh, well, that's something any decent person would have done. You were so small and you looked so sad. Hey, you remember that time when you were zapping people with a big blue laser gun? Everyone was running so scared. I remember it as if it were yesterday. In fact, it was yesterday. Really? Some things never change. What are you drinking? Oh, this. It's glue solid. It may not be as good as an old red wine, but it's not that bad. What does it taste like? Awful, but it's still better than water. Can I have some of your glue solvent? Uh-uh. If I give it to you, then what will I drink? Why do you always want random items from other people? Are you still turning into a giant purple monster every time you sneeze? Nope. Luckily, the side effects of that thing you gave me to drink faded away. But hey, if you have any more of those flasks, just keep sending them over. That thing was delicious. Did you see anything unusual tonight? I don't recall anything unusual. But maybe a drink will refresh my memory. Look, look, look. Nope, it did not. And now I see everything in black and white. Goodbye. Goodbye, champ. This area is under maintenance. I used to collect these things, but then I found out I'm allergic to the cheap alloy they're made of. Why are you alone, Captain? Where's the rest of the squad? I bet there's a deserter. These are some pretty interesting evil concepts over there, but I don't feel like reading them again. Inside that chest is trapped my lovely fish, Domingo. The chest is locked with three locks. I have to find a way to open it. I can't talk to that. 
I cast a gypsy curse on it a few nights ago. The next person who lifts it will turn into a hideous pig. I can I prefer not to touch it. I don't want to have a horrible disfiguring gypsy curse. There's where the mayor stores some of his hunting records and some hunting trophies. Those trophies are covered in dust. I don't want to be sneezing the rest of the night. That doesn't need this. Once I played a prank on the local kids with something like this. I put a candy container on the street, but instead of normal candies, I left a bunch of salt-coated ones. <laughs> also, the explosion left little Timothy without eyebrows for a few. Once I played a also I put an anti-personnel landmine below it. The explosion left little Timothy without eyebrows for a few weeks. Yuck. Those candies are too sticky and dirty to carry around. They will mess up my inventory. That doesn't need to be There's nothing to un I can't use the button. That doesn't need to It's the door that leads to the mayor's office. Another totally biased depiction of our mayor. Definitely not the kind of painting that I would add to my collection. It's a pretty inaccurate portrait of the mayor of Darkusville. I already checked that. There's no strong box behind that painting and no, I don't want to steal this horrible painting. Here, the mayor stores his booze. The cabinet was depleted for redecoration. Oh, wait a minute. They forgot this bottle of 25-year-old whiskey. Interesting. She's Mrs. Johnson, the mayor's secretary. She may look inoffensive, but she swings her umbrella really hard for a woman of her age. Hey, no. She's me. Hey, I can hear you. What are you saying about my age? Nothing. Good evening, Mrs. Johnson. Good evening, Sid. May I talk with the mayor? Do you have an appointment? Mmm, yep. Oh, really? Let me check that in the mayor's agenda. No, you haven't. You know, Sid, Today was a really long day. Why don't you go play your pranks on someone else? My pranks? My pranks? Please don't insult me, woman. I don't play pranks. I do evil deeds of demonic proportions. Oh, I didn't mean to insult you, honey. But could you go to do your things outside? I heard that Mr. Martinez got a brand new doorbell. I hope no one goes to play Ding Dong Ditch at him. Ding Dong Ditch? Are you suggesting that I use my evil genius to play that childish game? What is that big chest doing inside the mayor's house? It's from the three strangers that arrived in town today. They are called the Ramiro brothers. I hear they are demon hunters. If I were you, I would be hiding until they go. What is the mayor doing? He's talking with one of the Ramiro brothers, a woman. I think her name was Foxy. What a name. And why do they call themselves the Ramiro brothers if there is a woman in the group? It should be the Ramiro siblings. I don't know. Maybe it's a marketing thing? I don't know. Maybe. I dare you to lift that big trophy over there. I will not lift that. Why? You cast a gypsy curse on it. What? How do you know? I was here the night you did it. Don't you remember? You even asked me for a black candle and four pistachios. Oh. Yeah, I recall now. By the way, uh, do you have any more useful items to lend me? Like a lockpick, a pair of scissors, or a sniper rifle? No. And go do your stuff somewhere else. Good night, Mrs. Johnson. We'll talk later. Good night, my dear. It's the door that leads... 
I can The door is locked. Wow, this is one of the finest 25-year-old whiskeys ever made. My glue solvent tasted like poison in comparison to this. Thanks. Presto! That glue solvent works really quickly. I thought I had my homemade medicine inside. Now that I think about it, that's probably what glued the cabinet door on in the first place. Things made with evil goo are so hard to manage. It's already open. I can't... I thought I had my homemade medicine inside. Now that I think about it, Probably what glued the cab things made with evil goo. It's full of oil. See, I was expecting this shipment of pink, but.